Hi YouTube, this is Betty with Scrap Passion on One, and I have a quick project share for you guys. I um, had a customer request to create a Mother's Day card, and my co-worker is going to give this card to her mother-in-law. So I'm going to go over real quickly the um, products that I used to create this card. So the paper line that I used came from the Black Current Stack. Ugh. And this is, I'm sorry, some paper fell out. And this is really a cute stack. I've been wanting to use this stack for a while. So that's the paper that I used. The stamp I used came from this Inkle Dinkle Do stamp. And I used the one in the middle. I used some embossing powder by Lindy Stamp Gang. And I used the Royal Burgundy Blue. I use this ribbon. Well, you can't really see that ribbon. It's in the back, so I'm gonna show that one. But I use this grow grain ribbon that I got from um where did I get this? I don't know. Michael's on Hobby Lobby, one of those. And I use this trim from Recollections, came from Michael's. And I use some recollection. Are these recollections? No, these just some paper flowers that I got out of the dollar bin at Michaels. I use um, some one to scrap. Then I use some of this Michaels bling. Then I use this stamp set, the Ditto uh, stamp set. Well, I got it backwards. The one in the middle there because I love you, Mom. And then the spell binders I used was this one. And this is uh, Labels 20. It's the stamp, uh, not stamp, the um, spell binders that I use. So those are all the products that I used to create the card. And now to the card. I think it turned out super cute and I'm really excited with it. I'm going to bring it closer. I put some stickles around the um, spell binders. I like to do that because to me it makes it pop more and just brings it out more. And um, this Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder is beautiful. I love their um, embossing powder. I mean it stamps or embosses, sorry. So, so pretty. I love it. And so I put the... Um, the flat back pearls, the purple, right there in the center of the stamp to just kind of help give that some texture and help that come out. Here's the flowers that I used, and then I put some stickles on that and that real pretty purple bling in the middle. I made a stick pin there, and here's the little ribbon that I showed that I put there for the uh, flower to rest on. Here's my sentiment, and I also embossed it. Put some of the trim down here at the bottom. And I included that cream. I wanted that cream to pop out more um, in the paper, you know, that's showing in the paper. So I wanted to bring out that cream a bit. So that's why I included that. And here's the inside. I left it blank. They're going to write the message, uh, or she's going to write the message in the inside. And so I used some of those... Um, little banners in the inside that came from a spell binders as well and of course you know I had to create a box to go with it because it's so dimensional so I had to create a matching box for it and here's the box isn't it cute I should have had a something for this to rest on but let's see if it'll stand up there it is okay so I created this cute little box for it, uh, for it to go in, and I included the same sentiment, because I love you, put the same flower, and I added some tool, and um, this tool acts like a band. She'll just, you know, pull that off, put the card inside, and the tool goes easily right back on the box. And I created this box um, using... Um, the Martha Stewart scoreboard and I will have a short tutorial 
on how I created the box because I had one of my subscribers to ask me to do a tutorial on how to um, do, uh, put the box together and how to do that. So stay tuned for a short tutorial on how to do the box. Okay, so to start off to make the um, boxes that I made for with my cards, you'll see over here to the right hand side here that it has um, the measurements for the boxes that you want to make. And the boxes that I made were 8 by 8 by 2 and so it'll have over here to the right of it uh, what size card stock you'll need to start out with. So for an 8 by 8 by 2 you have to start out with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You'll need two 12 by 12s uh, to do the base of the box and the top of the box. And you'll have to score at 2 and 10 inches. Okay, so we're going to start out with the base. And all you need to do um, to make the boxes is your cardstock. And I like to use double-sided tape, but you can use any adhesive that you like. But this is really quick uh, to do. So I like to use this and some scissors or your, um, you know, something to cut with, okay? So, to start out, you have your 12 by 12 for your base. You're going to score at um, 2 and 10. So, make sure that your um, paper is butted up to the very edge right here. Right here. Where it says 0. So, you want to make sure it's way over to that side um, to the left. And then, let me kind of turn this a little bit. So I, can, I can see it a little bit, what I'm doing. And so, you score here at 2. Get in frame there. Two. And then you're going to score at 10. 10. Okay. So I got my paper folded. I mean, not folded. Scored. If you can see that, the score lines. And then you're going to turn your paper like that, like so. And then you're going to score again at 2 and 10. So you're going to go up here and score again at 2 and then at 10. Now you can do your box any size you like. This is just the size that I like, the, the largest one. But they have other sizes over here to the right uh, that you can use for different size box. So I have it folded. And so you're going to have it folded, or I mean, I keep saying folded, scored. Scored at all corners there. If you can see that, the score lines, they're folded on all corners. You can see that. And so next what you're going to do, and you can also still use your scoreboard for your folding. You're going to fold it at all your score lines. So I like to turn mine over so that I can see my score lines. And just fold it like such okay and then what you're going to do and I like to keep it turned over where I can see the score lines you're going to cut it at all corners and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about you see right here on this line you're going to cut up to now don't cut you're going to cut up like right before you get there because if you cut it all the way, you're going to just cut it off, completely off. So you're going to cut until you get right below this score line. So you're going to take your scissors and cut up there, right right under it, like before you get to the intersection part. Um, you're going to cut this piece and you're going to cut that all the way around. So let's do that. Let me get in frame here. Gonna cut and just try to cut it as straight as you can. So this is how it'll look once you cut it. See that? And you're gonna do that all the way around on all four corners. So let me get in frame here. And like right underneath it, like right before you get to that intersect line. See here. Okay, then you're going to cut the other part over here. Okay, 
Then you're going to um, fold up the piece that you cut. You see this piece? Of it? You're going to fold it up and like form your box like that. Okay? And then you're going to put your adhesive on this part right here. So, just put your adhesive on. Okay, so this is what your box will look like once you've folded it and put your adhesive on. So this is what your base will look like. Okay, so now we're on to the top. So um, for the top, it's a little tricky. On your measurements, it's slightly larger so that it'll fit on the box. And for the top, um, you're going to do score it 2 and 10 inches and... Hold on, let me start over. For the base, for the top of the box, you're going to still use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. But instead of scoring at 2 and 10 that you did for the base, you're going to score at 2 and 10 and 1 eighth. So it's slightly larger uh, so that it can fit over your top. I mean, your, so your top can fit over your base. So the one tricky thing about the top is, let me bring this up here. Instead of having your paper all the way to the edge here, you're going to have your paper at this edge right here. You see where that little symbol is? You're going to uh, have the edge of your paper lined up with this right here. Now, it, the difference is with the base, it was all the way over. Let me get it in frame. You were all the way over to the edge. But on the top, you're going to start your paper or start scoring right there at that little symbol. So you're going to line your edge up, the edge of your paper, right there. It's just slight, but you have to do that in order for your top to, to fit over your base. So when you uh, line your paper up, just make sure it's lined up to this symbol here when you do your top. That's the only thing with that. So I've already scored two places. So then after you score your 10, I mean your 2 and your 10 and 1 eighth, you're going to turn it, okay, Let me get in here, and then line it up, slightly move it, and line your edge of your paper up with that symbol right there, with that little, what is that, a triangle, so make sure you line it up there, and then go ahead and do your scores. Make sure I'm lined up. And if you get a little off, just try to get it as close as you can once you turn your paper. Okay, then you're going to score again at 2 and 10 and 1 eighth. And then I like to turn mine over. And then you're going to fold. So just fold your at your score lines. Fold all four corners. And then you're going to do the exact same thing that you did for your base. You're going to cut here. Let me get your frame if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. But you're going to cut all the way, not all the way up, but slightly below that line right, right here. Slightly below that line. Okay, I'm back. And here's the top. This is how it looks. Okay. And then we're going to test it out and fit it over the base piece. I hope it fits. Hold on. I'm going to get it. Hold on. Voila! And there it is. All put together. And I use the green tea stack. I have had this forever. And so that's the stack that I use to create this box. I think I'm going to give this to a co-worker and fill it up with goodies. Uh, because she was so nice to stay over and help me Friday. And you know how it is on Friday. Everybody's trying to get out. So she stayed over and helped me out. So I think I'm going to fill these up. She loves to eat little goodies. So I'm going to fill this up with goodies. But you can decorate it as you like. I'm going to decorate it up real pretty. I'll have to come back and show you how I decorated it up. And put some really cute, you know, put some goodies in it. So that's the box. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you can follow along okay. And happy Mother's Day to everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.